capture audio. Yes, okay. Oh no, 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 no. I'm in the wrong game. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> we already completed this game. We are after this one. Super Mario Sunshine. And then when we're done Sunshine, we go to the next title, Galaxy. And I haven't decided yet if after that we do Galaxy 2 or Odyssey to complete this sort of circuit we're doing of Super Mario 3D titles. Press A. So we're going to continue with our 34 shines, which is actually quite good. I think we're 33% done of the core shines. If my memory serves me correctly. I want the rocket nozzle. Because the next thing we're going to do is come over here. And in the distance. That's actually really good. In the distance, we may have seen it, may not have seen it. But on the rock wall is a warp pipe for a secret area. We're gonna cover this one first. As a reminder of last stream, I was actually able to complete the two most infamous shines in this game. The Pachinko Shine and the Lily Pad Ride Shine. So starting off, we are in a uh, Secret of the Red Coin area. And I want to take care of this red bird first. Where's the red bird? Oh, it blew back up. Perfect, and we got it while it was about to hit the platform. So now we have this running man running around all over the place. Basically anything you can do in this stage is going to give you a red coin. Just be aware of your water levels. Whew, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. Over here is a... Excuse me. There we go. I have the angle this way because there are holes in the area. And I actually don't know if they dropped me into oblivion or not. And I'd rather not test that today. Even in the past I never tested it.
Come on. Now there should be one more flower, which I think is this one. And there we go. Our first shine of the stream. Save and continue. I'm going to show. I don't know if I've shown it yet. Actually, yes, I have. I totally have. I just blanked on the fact that we had shown it. Let's see. I need 10 coins. Did I do that shine yet? Only one way to find out. Just take a peek in the window. Dogs are sneezy today. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I don't think I did this one yet. Great, you're the best. Okay, so I did do both of these. I think I'm done in Delfino Plaza then. For now. Because, like, I can't think of any other shines. Excuse me, why are you growling? We've done this for several Sundays now. You should be used to our routine. Okay, continue with the caged shine sprite. So one of the ways that I used to do this shine all the time is that on the underside is a grating. And there's oil all over the water. And I would just go up until I would get the rocket nozzle. Come all the way back down and just cheese it from the bottom. Today, I am going to try to do it the official way. Now, speaking of official way, I also have to be aware of any blue coins. Smack. No blue coin yet. And smack. Okay, so, I'm gonna flip here. Oh, 
Nope. Uh, turn here. Along these scaffoldings, there are various blue coins. Oh, good. Ghost Buddy, I think is its official name, too. Knocked me into a blue coin. And I missed that platform. What is happening down there? I was actually surprised about that. Actually, that didn't work out the way I was expecting it to. A little bit higher then. There we go. This blue coin. There we go. Okay. So, another way up we can definitely do is by coming this way. Another blue coin over here. Over there is nothing. And now we are here. Fortunately, this gives me an opportunity to showcase this shortcut, which I recommend aligning the camera just like this. But make sure you have the spray nozzle at the ready, especially if you're going to do what I was going to do, which was spray the bloopers off. It's fine. It's easy to get up. It is not like a challenge to do it. I'm just struggling with doing it. Because that's what I do. I struggle in video games. I'm good at them, but I struggle. So yeah, you can spray bloopers directly off of the scaffolding if you want. It usually leads in great success. No, 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 no. I want to make it over there. Nope. Did not mean to do that. Did mean to do this though. Huh. Interesting. Wait. 
in my no glitch run, I'm certainly finding glitches. Okay, so it's clear that I can't just stand on that platform to get higher. It's made it perfectly clear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on this platform. And the reason why I'm gonna backtrack here is because that's where the rocket nozzle is. And if you saw, over here, there is a blue coin down below. This is going to cause me problems. And you. So, the way I like to go about this, when it comes to using the rocket, is charge but not too much because you want to be able to rock it back up. Just like that. Took me a couple of attempts, but I managed Okay, so we can continue up. Actually, I want to make sure that I have the blue coins. Which I do. So, we're going to continue upwards. Bounce on these trampoline verandas. Avoid the ghost. And into the cage. And here's the shine. A little bit itchy. Okay, continue with Rico Harbor. Secret of Rico Tower. Yay! Tower levels! I call it tower. Secret levels! The first time you do a secret level is okay to go into the secret level with whatever nozzle. So if you're struggling to get into this secret level with the hover nozzle, then you could always go get the rocket nozzle. In fact, I would recommend it because there is a blue coin at the top of this. However, we don't really need to get that blue coin right now. The classic Mario themes done in a cappella are so funny and hilarious. And this is why Mario wall jumping is much better in these later titles than Mario 64. Okay, we're on a safe zone. On to a go, oh my gosh, my screen froze.
Okay, kind of need to be a bit more out so that I can observe the rotational flow of these blocks, which are getting smaller. And then this guy is a big kid. I know. It is possible that because of the rotation, you end up falling. So, <laughs> be careful. But yeah, my game screen froze and I'm like, I'm on a rotating platform. How am I gonna live? Next level. Gooper Blooper Returns. So, I'm okay with having the same boss appear multiple times in the same level. Because that is their world. PD Piranha, Gooper Blooper. What I'm not okay with is when you only have so few boss designs that they bleed into other levels. And you end up fighting the same guy four or five times. Shadow Mario excluded because, like, he is the main villain. He should be in every stage the way he is now. Now, there are various ways to approach this. The way that they intend you to do it is from below. You get onto the logs, then you get onto the helicopter platform. And from there, you get onto the underside of the helicopter platform using the rocket nozzle. We are just gonna go this way. Oh, he was using a different attack. I believe I mentioned it before that uh, Goopa Blooper just needs to be disarmed from the arm or forearms because his back tentacles don't do anything unless you're spraying him. Come on. There we go. So nearly died because my hubris was so big I didn't want to take off its arms. We'll eventually get to the beam of light. Next level. Red coins on the water. This is a blooper surfing one. And it's timed. 
so this one will be quite difficult. I recommend the green blooper to be honest. Red gives you the most control or most speed, but green. I was gonna say gives you the most control as I missed two of the red coins. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble collecting this one coin. That was... Oh, I jumped too soon. There we go. Seven. Eight. Now the hard part is getting the shine on the blooper because there is no way of dismount. Another reason why I recommend the green blooper over one of the others. As I got onto a yellow blooper. I've never seen that happen before. There we go. Save and quit. 